Welcome back fam to a new installment of my real versus fake for Chrome Hearts. As you guys saw in my last videos for the Chrome Hearts Dagger Denim, as well as that, the license plate CH hat. If you guys haven't watched those, go check that out. But this case, we're going off of actually jewelry, how to tell what's real and what's not. But I'm gonna tell you guys my experience about getting scammed and how I learned what is real and what's not. Before we get into it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, as well as turn those notifications to see when I upload immediately. And also with that, I do legit checks, $5. DM me through my Instagram, at Fresh and Flea. And remember, I only take PayPal. If you can't legit check for yourself, why don't you go for the short thing? Shout your boy. And talking about legit checking, gotta thank the thrift store for the Chrome Hearts hoodie that I did scoop up. Yes, I found this at a thrift store, but I knew what to look for and I knew what was legit and what was not. That's what I'm talking about. Go for the sure thing. Let's get into my embarrassing yet fruitful story. Back then I was looking up online and I found this post and it was a pretty good deal. It was around 250 bucks. I saw it, it was a CZ Cross. It had a paper chain necklace attached to it. It looked great. Came with a dust bag, looking beautiful. I literally paid on the spot, got it within four days. Shipping was fast. I thought it was all good. I wore it for a long time. <laughs> That's the crazy part about it. Nobody called me out, nobody said anything. I didn't pay too much attention to it until I started doing my own research and finally I got it legit check and guess what? It came back fake, fake, <laughs> fake. Do you understand? Like. Like that doesn't happen to me with all this stuff. You have to understand. I've done so many BAEP legit checks. I've done so many Supreme legit checks. I've done Stone Island legit checks. I've done Fear of God. I've, and I get stopped by Chrome Hearts. I get, I get stopped. And it's because I hadn't got the experience knowing what a Chrome Hearts silver bracelet, necklace, jewelry, what it was in my hand. And in this case, this was not a t-shirt. This was not a hoodie. This was not a hat. There are so many telltale signs with that stuff. This was jewelry and it was so hard. I couldn't believe it. I was like, Oh my gosh. Until I was told what to look for. And this is where I'm going to show you guys. This is actually the post. So I'm going to go back to my Depop. I resold it back on my Depop to somebody. And I literally put it's a inspired Chrome Hearts. You know, so they knew it was fake. And I got a hundred bucks for it. It's crazy because most of these websites, you can buy fake Chrome Hearts for about 30, 40, 50 bucks. I'm talking about chains, like necklaces, and it's real silver. Replica silver. It's not going to be as quality, but for someone who's just looking at silver from just looking at it, it's going to look great. It is. And sadly, that's why so many people get ad. And so I'm gonna actually going to I'm gonna show you guys telltale signs were popping up. And one thing to look for is that dust bag. Look at the dust bag. See that metallic Chrome Hearts logo? It looks great. It's horseshoe logo. It's literally on the back of this hoodie. It's pretty much the main staple and you got the Maltese cross right in the middle. Looks great. This is what you want to look for. And I'm going to show some up close pictures because it's supposed to say Chrome Hearts USA. It's supposed to be a suede bag, not a velvet bag like this. That's a big telltale sign with all the jewelry. If you see any jewelry that looks like that, which I can literally look up a few pictures. I'll pay, I'm going to inlay some Chrome Hearts photos that are worth $45, $35. And you can actually see behind there, there are different versions of that bag. And you can see the Chrome Hearts logo is imprinted right on there. But real suede is where it's at. And in this case, this is actually for a Chrome Hearts Maltese cross on a leather braided necklace with silver aglets. And I did a legit check on this one. I actually posted the picture, so I'll, I'll add a picture in there. And I've looked up this Maltese cross and actually found a fake selling on eCrater.com. It's got a Chrome Hearts scroll plate on the back and then the fakes, they don't. It actually just says 925. There's a lot of things that you can look for in ring. This is a Maltese cross nail ring, but it actually has gold on the front head. So in this case, it's a lot easier to tell what's real and what's not because this is not just full silver. There's so many of these that are fake. This one on the other hand has gold on the front. And I mean, yes, you can paint one, but you can't really fake that. And on to my next point, the plate that connects on the necklace, the paper chain necklace itself. But as you can see, this plate right here is a tell tell sign of being fake fake this is what i was told when i got a legit check on mine i'll show you guys the actual one on the necklace itself because it's way different way smaller and from what i was told you can see it's a true replica i'll go find another post it's the same mocking plate and what's crazy about it is on the back it has a maltese cross looks amazing looks great looks well done the last but not least thing is the actual cross itself is that the cross didn't look completely 100 percent on point and how you can tell is the way that this part, which I call the nipple of the cross, if you wanna say that, there's like a nipple of the cross and it's actually supposed to connect. And this is where, where the Maltese cross silver squatchy actually comes into play, is right on the top where that nipple is, the way that the lines connect 
on the actual cross itself is everything. And in turn, the cross actually had a 2004 and a 925. And let's look closely at that 925. 2004 looks almost solid, but right in the middle, like lifted up. Engraving is not actually engraved all the way. And then you look to the right, the 925. Nine almost doesn't look complete. The two is almost complete. And the five was not complete right in the middle. Quality control of Chrome Hearts is usually very solid. And the thing is, being in business since 1989, you think about it, a lot of things have changed. And this is where a lot of people on the legit checking of the hats and everything else, people would say tags are different depending on you know what year. And it's true because tags have changed, markings have changed. I mean, even their wallets have changed. And this one has a huge Chrome Hearts USA logo in there. Another shout out to the thrift store coming up on this one if you guys want it. Nylon leather and silver in the horseshoe logo. This is up on my Depop shop, go check it out. But like I was saying, a lot of people are only asking about hats, hoodies, sweaters, shirts, a lot of the things like the Chrome Hearts dagger, uh, Chrome Hearts ring. It's very ambiguous how many different versions are out there. There are so many that look completely legit. This brings me on to my point. I may have been scammed, but I didn't give up. And that's what I'm telling you guys out there, because no matter how much I know you're spending hard earned money on something that you are unsure about, don't be unsure about it and just jump on it. Make sure to do the homework. And if you can't get some help, get some help. I mean, you could get some help from me. You know what I'm talking about? Stop it. But if you have a resale shop, if you have a Chrome Heart shop, bring something in, ask them about it. It's their livelihood that it's their product that is put on the line and it's going to be fake. They'll have something to say about it. And that's why I hope this helped. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. If you take pity on my story, at least I got half the money back. Please drop a comment down below about your experience about Chrome Heart. Why you guys are actually watching this video to begin with. Are you guys doing it because you are looking into buying stuff? Or did you buy something and you're looking to see if it's fake? Let me know, comment down below. And with that, I'm just going to say what I always say. Hit that sub button because more videos are coming. This was Mick from Fresh from the Flea.